Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Gigi here. Thank you so much for joining me for another Collective Energy reading. How are we doing today? I hope y'all are well. Um, if you're new, please take a moment to subscribe. Guys, please like the video on your way out before you leave. Excuse me. Um, all the information to contact me and see what I offer is down in the description box below. Please check it out. Uh, this is a Collective Energy reading, so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and place yourself in the reading where you belong. Please and thank you. Gigi is not a therapist, but I am your friend here with messages from Spirit, his angels, my ancestors, and loved ones uh, that are here gathered together to help me channel and uh, communicate with energies that have something to say to you. So please take it for what it is and uh, sit back and enjoy. On the table today we have Zodiac, we have Romance Oracles, we have my handwritten deck, The Kipper and Soul's Journey. It is uh, April 11th, 2022. It is 1234 p.m. One, two, three, four. That means everything is in alignment. Everything's, uh, these are the stepping stones in the right direction. So we are on the right course here, okay? Um, just quick announcements. Friday nights at 730 p.m. every Friday, Pacific Standard Time, I have live readings. This Saturday, uh, the 16th, I will be at Burner's Merced again with another pop-up shop. So if you're in the area, I'll be there from 6 or so, excuse me, noon to 6 p.m., okay, guys? Um, I don't have a whole lot to say. Let's just get into this reading. Holy Spirit, please come down with your angels, my ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides that have ascended to your highest white light to protect and guide me with uh, through this reading for our growing collective. Please allow me to channel clear, honest, and precise messages, Holy Spirit, and please protect us all with your divine light and cast all darkness, evil, evil eyes, spell work, and just nasty manipulation back to hell where it belongs all that darkness spirit please cast it all back to hell where it belongs and protect me and this collective while i channel this energy please and thank you i love and appreciate you all all right so let's just get into it folks let's go let's see what's going on today for the collective What's going on, spirit? Spirit, what's going on? What you got for me, spirit? What's the zodiac energy, please, spirit? Jupiter. Thank you. We have air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We have Sagittarius, air, and fire. We have Element of Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Air and Fire, Air and Fire. Where are we starting first? You want this? All right, we're going to start off with love. Let's see what the love doctor has to say. All right, Spirit, what you got for me? Making big moves. Somebody's making big moves. Moves in the right direction. I can see clearly now the rain is gone, not here. I can see all obstacles in my way. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? Somebody needs to tell me. I don't know. All right, spirit. Somebody who's got clarity, possible light bulb moments, and they're making big, powerful moves in the right direction. Well, we did see one, two, three, four. Everything's in, in order, so let's see what's going on, Spirit. What you got for me, Spirit, through the Romance Oracles? Thank you. Somebody's letting go of control issues because they want them ro those romantic feelings. They want that sexual healing, sexual Healing, darling. Yep, they're allowing this situation to unfold naturally, seeing the error of their ways, realizing they chose the wrong ones, and they won or ones, and they want to go be with the person they have romantic feelings for, and they know that there's serious passion with. So that's very good. Let's see what else we got. Anything else from here, Spirit? What else you got? I'm glad people are letting go of control issues and letting the divine uh, handle what needs to be handled and going through what needs to be going through because it's their twin. And they're realizing now it's safe for you to love, safe for them to love this person. Beautiful, beautiful. Hallelujah, praise to the Lord. Mazel tov, l'chaim. Okay, all the things. Yes, l'chaim. Beautiful, beautiful. Shalom. All right. 
I'm glad there's peace being, peace being brought to this person. They're letting go of the need to be right all the time. They're, they're letting the situation unfold. They're letting things happen. They're, they're realizing that there, there's a past life relationship that brings them out all the romantic, passionate feelings. And they're realizing now that it's safe for them to love this person. Anything else, spirit? Whee! They want to express their love, collective. They want it. They're realizing it, and now they're. Re Excuse me. They're trying to uh, find it, uh, find a way to express their love, or they're on the on their way. Whatever the case may be, things are going in the right direction. Just let it happen the way it needs to happen. This could be the one, the one that you're truly attracted to, the one that ha you have the romantic feelings for, the one that you're passionate about, and the one that you uh, want to express your love to. This could be the one. This could be your one, your twin, okay? The one that you're thinking about right now, the one that's on your mind constantly, the one that you can't stop thinking about, the one that you want to flirt with, or the one that flirted with you best, that brought out, you know, that was charming, and brought out that sparkle in your eye that made you smile a special smile. I see deception. Not anymore, I'm being told. No more deception, no more lies. They're ready to let go of control issues and issues. And they're ready to give the relationship a chance. They want to try. They want to express their love. They want to be able to feel those romantic feelings. They want to touch... I feel, I see, I see somebody. Wow. Okay. It just reminds me of a beautiful romance novel where I see a man caressing the cheek of somebody with the back of his hands and she kind of just falls, her face just like goes right into it and just closes her eyes and just, he looks at her and he's in heaven. It's beautiful. And then he grabs her face and kisses her. The thing is, is he had to learn, he or she had to learn to love themselves first in order to be able to get where they needed to go. Understand their self-esteem and their self-confidence and get it, either get it back or understand that they don't need to have a big ego with this person, that this person is custom built for them. All right, Spirit, what else? Please and thank you. Maybe they needed to get right with spirit and remember how to be playful instead of being a deceptive jerk, whatever the case may be on the bottom. And they're looking to get engaged. What's underneath? Because they realize that you're their true love and it's going to feel like a new love once you guys start forgiving and learning. Maybe somebody needed to get away from some codependencies and free themselves from it. And during that whole process, they were able to call in their soulmate. Okay. Had to get away from any red flags. So they can start possibly um, planning out a romantic getaway, a pre-wedding honeymoon, something, some way to that for them to go and get engaged. Like maybe a pre-wedding honeymoon to get engaged, whatever the case may be. Spirit needed them to find him so they can stay optimistic about their love life, whatever the case may be. This is beautiful. I do love this deck when it's when it's given us beautiful romantics. Anything else, Spirit? One last shuffle. On the bottom, it's worth waiting for. Very true. And very soon, very soon, this could all be happening very soon. And it's worth waiting for. So stay optimistic about your love life. Stay patient. Stay consistent with your patience. And stay consistent with Spirit. Okay, are we done here? Can I pull these? Okay. Very good. These cards have got a workout in the time I've had them, so maybe time for a new set of them and retire this one. I don't know, maybe not. What does that have? Free yourself. It's time to free yourself from any dark thoughts, any lack of faith, any lack of trust, and just start believing spirit wants you to have the beautiful divine flesh, the blessings with the person that you may flirt with the best. Extend your lightheartedness to uh, and lighthearted energy to others. Bring out your charm and your charisma because your twin is on his way. Okay. All right. Let's see where are we going. The kipper. All right. Let's see. Is it going to shift? Not at all. Okay. So we're staying in a very positive, romantic energy. There may be a little bit of something that explains maybe what's going on 
during the separation before this person, your twin comes towards you. Maybe something happened that opened their eyes. may very well be holding you in high honor not very well they do hold you in high honor very much so excuse me i miss i misunderstood the words coming towards me sorry spirit okay spirit what else you got for us for the tripper thank you spirit marriage is this what they're dealing with now sort of possible investments with somebody Something that may. I see the main female here and their occupation set somebody on a journey in the near future is going to bring them to a courtship and possibly get somebody on a spiritual pathway. But right now, this person, main masculine, may very well just be looked at as a, main, a wealthy man by somebody they're married to with the expectations that they're going to take care of their family until they die because of children. However, in the family room, a privileged woman is going to find out something possibly by their old man, the person that they're married to. It says official person, but on the bottom, but I'm being told not for this. Thank you, spirit. Lovers. Are they lovers or are they married? They're not married. No, they're lovers. But she's trying to entrap him into being taking him from being a wealthy man to their husband by married marrying them because of a child right now they're just lovers and because of the fact like i was like oh spirit i understand is it going to come out in here on the nose okay thank you spirit the thing is is this this mature this person this wealthy man here yeah he may have been raised that if you have kids you stay with that person until the day you die take care of them because they're your family and the thing is is he's out done with that he's done with that he doesn't want to deal with being in this relationship with this person because he's got main female over here that he wants to be with that he wants to marry take that that train as confirmation man he does not want to be in this old outdated way of thinking because he would feel imprisoned in his own life by the, his wife and have him in despair thinking she's just there to steal his money because she's a false ass person what else you got for me spirit from the kipper thank you what's this gift of being somebody's official person with a big ass ego but however he's divine masculine who works his freaking ass off to be a wealthy man not just somebody to get married to just to get married to for his money because he works hard for his money and now he's in concern because of it he's sitting here thinking about gold diggers Might possibly got a message of concern that somebody was after his great fortune and it could have him sick to his stomach thinking that she's going to take him for everything he he is and make him in, put him into poverty because whatever happens in the courthouse because of the baby and he's ready to make some change changes possibly in where he lives anything else put the last few cards in, in the sequence for me spirit so we can finish reading this story thank you spirit now there's somebody that he holds in high honor, possibly you collective, that may very well be helping him, possibly with that message of concern, wherever it went off to. Okay, you may have given him a message of concern. It could have been an intuitive message of concern that could very well help him in court to help him save his money, save his wealth, save his income, save all of that, and help him stay in his divinity. And right now he's thinking about writing you a letter to thank you or prepare you or something. For what's coming all that love and beautifulness but it's here coming it's here coming it's in the distant horizon he's on a journey to to dealing with all of this okay but he right now he's in he's sit, sitting there sick to his stomach 
thinking that he's going to be stuck and stagnant in a relationship with somebody that it may be for the rest of his life. If, like he said, if he stays with his old traditional ways of doing things with that his family instilled in him, he's going to be with this person until the day he dies. The thing is, is if it is, you know, if this person is pregnant or just had a kid and they're waiting on result, whatever happens, either if it is his kid or not, she, he's afraid that she's going to take him for everything he's worth in court and keep him away from you guys. Okay. Am I on the right track? Exactly on the right track. Okay, spirit. Thank you. The thing is, is he wants to be married. He wants to be with you guys. He wants to get engaged. He wants to be with you because you are the, you are the best love he knows. You guys are twins. You guys are destined to be together. This is the way it is. And, you know, spirit's just saying, be patient. It's worth waiting for. You are the divine beings and no false person. You guys, that's who you are. That's who you guys are. And don't let no false, fake ass, privileged people take you guys away from each other. For no reason, for no reason. Blended families are a thing, it's possible, and it's okay. Okay? It is okay to be in a blended family. It's okay to love somebody different than you. It's okay to not to not have to, to conform to what, you know, old, outdated ways of thinking have set people up for. Because people are miserable. If you're miserable in a situation and you can't stop thinking about somebody else, you're not in the right relationship, man. Get away from anybody that's just a privileged person that just wants you for their money, for your money, okay? If it's making you sick to your stomach thinking about where all your money's going to go, like, you know. Okay, masculine, Mr. Wealthy Man, here's the thing. Your twin knows things may have mentioned certain things to you but didn't give you all the information because you had to learn some things on your own uh there was a message of concern that you had gotten from this person do you remember what that is i'm being told a few times yes did you listen no because their head was in the clouds with rose colored glasses on possibly seeking revenge through manipulation possibly because of old old ways of being towards each other whatever the case may be okay are we going to soul's journey no we're going to my handwritten written deck all right spirit i'm going to do this and i'm going to split it in half let me just shuffle it together and then we'll split it in half maybe it's time for you to stop hiding your feelings because this is your twin flame okay we already saw that it's worth waiting for we already saw that you guys are on your way to, uh, one of you is on the way to the other. So whatever the case may be, this is, this bed is so empty without you, twin flame. Somebody's fearing loneliness, needs a warm body to cuddle, and is, was just choosing the wrong one. Instead of their twin flat. But see, the thing is, is a tower is about to fall right on you for making the wrong choices, choosing somebody over your twin. Choosing the wrong one over your twin, yeah. being told it's not coming over the female the twin the tower isn't the twin tower is not coming down over the female it's coming down over the masculine for choosing the wrong one all right spirit what do you got for me i love the way you love me master manipulator please give me a chance just let me shuffle through this one really quick see if there's anything else that needs to come out with all of this and then we'll do it again thank you or there it is thank you spirit Ooh. okay hey 
standby now. All right, so we've got all these to go through. Tower's about to, there it is again. Possibly because you were being a master manipulator. Tower is about to fall right on you because you may have very well been a master manipulator. Okay, and it's gonna bring you a light bulb moment. Okay. That's going to get you to move it before the opportunity is gone because you're starting to realize that you love the way you they you love the way this person loves you. But the thing is, is with your master manipulator attitude, you they wanted peace, but you brought a war with that master manipulator attitude. And the reason is, is you brought that war upon somebody who has spirit guides watching their back that was using their discernment. And now you're going to come a scooting back saying, please give me a chance. I, I saw my, the error of my ways. I had all the towers have fallen. I, ha I was being a manipulator. I was being an ass. Well, that's what you get. That's what you get. So. Yeah, that is the what you get for what you were doing. So let's see if there's anything else that Spirit has to say. We're sitting at 20 minutes, 21 minutes. All right, Spirit. Yep, that tower is going to cause them to ride a tidal wave over their emotions, getting them to realize what they did, and it's going to be a major light bulb moment that's going to put a fire under their ass. We got fire right there. That fire is going right up their ass with passion and love, realizing what they did, and they're going to see if they can get to them. There's that perfect proposal. Like I was saying, when the love romance oracles were, were out here, somebody may be pre, uh, planning a pre-wedding honeymoon to go and do the perfect proposal because they may very want to... Uh, let you help them or uh, let them help you in any way. And I'm not being told like this. It's more of feeling of fulfillment, getting them out of bad situations that they put themselves in. Maybe they want your help to open their eyes to spirituality. Maybe they want to you to help them with their, you know, riding that tidal wave of emotions, helping them stop this spiritual war that may very well be attacking them because of what they did. The thing is, is just use your collective, like Gigi always says, use your discernment and all things. Thank you, spirit. Watch out for them. They may have very well been a shady character in the past, and like we see a master manipulator. Okay, they use manipulation as revenge. The thing is, is y'all are of sacred blood and the divine timing is at play in your life right now because spirit wants you together to keep your bloodline going. And it's going to all be started with that perfect proposal. If you give this person a chance, this thing is, the spirit's going to help you with this. The thing is, is you guys may very well need to be friends first, get to know each other on a different level, because you may have some serious trust issues with this person. I wouldn't be surprised if they were using manipulation as revenge. They were acting like a shady character. But the thing is, the spirit's going to put them in a position to where they have a tower fall right on their head to get them in, into gear to have that light bulb moment okay they want you to use discernment they want this bloodline to stay together okay they want this there's something in y'all's blood go do a gene genealogy test that what is it 23 and me whatever it is and find out what your ancestral line is okay find out okay study your zodiac uh chart your natal chart as well the thing is is there's going to be keep it in your pants i've said this a million and a half times keep it in your pants even after you guys get engaged, don't just snoo snoo just to snoo snoo because you, you, you need to use your discernment. Don't get involved with a shady character and give them your sexual energy when, before it's time. Okay, go through the wedding. On your, on your wedding night, do whatever it is you do. Teach others. For, see, the thing is, is you are this person's sweetheart. Okay? There it is again. Please let me help you, sweetheart. Whatever... Let me help you in all your endeavors. Let me help you around the house. Let me help you with the kids. They want to help you maybe teach others from your testimony. They don't want you to close. Once they have that light bulb moment, they're not going to want you to close the door on true love. And if they did, you did, they're going to want you to reopen it. And the thing is, is I would take it very, very slowly. Don't just rush into anything. Just take it slowly. Use your discernment, okay? Don't allow rose-colored glasses to get you. You can move mountains if you believe with all your heart and rise up from the darkness. That's what this person needs to start doing or is being starting to do after those towers 
fall and they come running right back to you asking for a second chance because they see you as their sweetheart their truest love they see maybe you've risen up from the, the darkness and you can move mountains with because you believe you may believe in spirit with all your heart and you may believe in, in divine blessings and all of these things you may very well be uh, in service to other people because of your beliefs and your faith. I know that I'll have regrets, but that's the price of one more lesson learned. And they don't want to learn any more lessons. That tower is going to teach them what they need to teach. You have spiritual protection all around. You just have faith and it will all come to fruition if you believe with all of your heart. You've got to believe with all your heart. Okay. You are being, you are shielded by your divine armor. This person was a shady character and a master manipulator very much because they could be very much damaged. If you want to come back, you better come back to correct or don't come back at all. That's exactly what, uh, yeah, that's exactly true. And if you're ch coming back and you're trying to be a shady character and trapping somebody with an engagement just to seal their sexual energy, this person is using uh, uh, their discernment. Y'all may very well be in a separation because they took enough. They don't want to take no more of your shit because you may have been holding a grudge. And the thing is, is you need to forgive even when you don't want to. This person already did because they realize that you could very well be emotionally damaged. And that's why you're such a shady character and a master manipulator using manipulation as revenge. There's revenge again on the bottom. Holding a grudge. They sought revenge. And now that because of their nasty manipulative attitude, the tower is about to fall right on them. Okay, we have a token of love. A token of love. Okay, there's a token of love. Because what she's doing now is tearing me apart. Did they give you a token of their love, Master Manipulator? On the nose, big time. And every time you see it, you're uh, thinking about what they're doing now and it's tearing you apart. Very much so because you got involved with a, a false twin. And now it's time for you to come clean about it all so you can finally be free. Free from any, uh, free from your emotional damage. Free, uh, you can be freed from that being a shady character. You can come clean about being a manipulator and that was holding a grudge and you were using manipulation as a form of revenge. Did somebody get involved in a pregnancy trap? Did you get somebody pregnant? Marriage is a sacred union not to be taken for granted. Yep. And if you married somebody because of a pregnancy trap, any family issues that needed to be healed because of the same old outdated ways of thinking, getting married at a wedlock because of, you know, that's just, you know, you want to do the right thing. Yeah, no, you need to heal those family issues and go do something for yourself. Like love yourself first because your body is the temple of a divine soul. Okay. Getting away from these, this whoever it is that's a false person. Love is an action, not something you can buy. Open your mind to the impossible. Your kiss can melt my the iceberg that is my soul, and it's time for you to call your power back and hold on to it tightly. Whoever you are, Mr. Master Manipulator, from the person who is trying to trap you. What was I saying with the kipper? What was I saying with the kipper? about this privileged woman just wanting to trap you with a child and keep you forever because they knew that your uh, family may very well be the kind of family that stays together because of the kids and they knew you had money. Well, it was a false twin. It wasn't your real twin. Call your power back and hold on to it tightly because there's somebody pure of heart that's sitting there waiting. Not necessarily waiting in the physical. Maybe they're off doing their own thing, but spiritually they're waiting for you. Possibly a high priestess. That is your twin flame. A real twin. Not a, a fake twin that's just after you for your money. You need to start counting your blessings daily. Anything else from here? you want all that beautiful romance it's time for you to uh be mindful pregnancy trap there was a possibility of abortions she may threaten with an abortion if that's the case because you know that there's somebody that can love you like that that she may not want you with that better love that you sit there thinking about and you can't eat can't sleep can't think straight because this person's all on your mind well it's because they're your twin 
that and their love frees your soul and maybe now it's time for you to uh, step out of your comfort zone and head towards that person that's pure of heart and uh you know set, tell this person this false ass twin wherever it went that's emotional that may very well be emotionally damaged threaten you with abortions and trying to trap you in a pregnancy be gone before somebody drops the house on you yeah maybe that's what you need to tell this person as you're in court trying to save all your freaking money from being stolen from this person Rebuke the darkness back to hell where it belongs. Send that succubus back to where she belongs, to the fiery pits of hell. That lake of fire where she can live out her worst nightmares for the rest of eternity. You are really worthy of true love, sir. Because the person that you're waiting for, the person that's uh, spiritually waiting for you, your twin, that high priestess, y'all two are going to be a powerhouse. A powerhouse. You've got a high priestess, your twin flame. You guys are a power couple in the making. She may very well be able to easily manifest what she wants. Uh-huh. Because of her spiritual journey, because of the fact that she knows, uh, you know, when people are lie, lie, lying, when people are seeking social acceptances, she knows how to, she, her spiritual journey has taught her to use her discernment about liars, uh, clout seekers, people with evil eyes that are sending them that way, you know, she knows what's going on. Her spiritual journey, her high priest abilities, the fact that she's your twin opens her up to knowing all of this because of her purest of heart. So maybe you want to close that distance, close out that separation and get yourself to where you need to be so you can stop letting these pretty faces come between you and your heart's desire. And maybe then you'll be able to learn how to be grateful to the Holy Spirit for all the things that are in your life instead of just thinking you're, you're entitled to it. Okay, be a beacon of light in all that darkness that surrounds you. And the thing is, is once you two come together, when you and your twin come together, you'll be able to because you'll be free of the darkness. You'll be able to be free of all the nonsense. You'll be able to be free to be with your sweetheart and do all the right things. Build all those businesses, help each other, help each other, be there to help each other. And all things in love, in business, in household chores, you know, whatever the whatever it is, be there for each other to help. Love each other the right way. Heal any ancestral curses. Break those vicious cycles of just staying in loveless relationships with people because you have kids together. You know, because it's damaging each of you. Causing more family issues that are gonna need to be healed. And if you break up that sacred uh, that sacred bloodline. The magic isn't going to be as strong. Okay? Don't be a shady character anymore. Let's get some closing messages. 32-32 on the clock here. Let's get some closing messages from Secret, or the Soul's Journey. All right, Spirit, thank you for clarifying what's going on during this time while these towers are falling in the courthouse, learning about babies, getting entrapped, all sorts of things. Let's see what's happening. What's the soul needs to know? What guidance the soul's journey have to have? What does go? What does soul's journey have to say about this twin flame journey? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, this, this is true love. The thing is, I see adversity on the bottom. These are challenges that need to be gone through to be able to get you to that purest love. 
the one that your high priestess, your twin flame, the one that has the pure heart, the one that you've always thought of as your sweetheart. That person is sitting there on the other side of these challenges that are those uh, tw those towers. And the thing is, is if you let those towers fall on you and you don't still don't make any changes, you're going to be in some serious regret. You may very well be in some serious regret now that you made the wrong choices and you have those towers falling because you should have chose the one that truly loved you. You should have been patient. You should have been, shouldn't have been so worried about, you know, your bed being empty and lonely and you shouldn't have just chosen somebody because they were there and it was convenient. Okay, because now you may very well be regretting your choices. Well, it's you went through this, so you could be go through what you needed to go through to to grow. Spirit wanted you to expand your consciousness and your awareness. He wanted you to learn how to be to love and to ex recognize love when it was there, real, true love, not just shallow, egotistical love, narcissistic love, gold, shallow, gold digging, succubus kind of love. It, that's not even love. That's just evil. It's just evil wanted you to see the error of your ways the best way yeah it, you can be in a lot of whole lot of grief you could be your happiness could be at a dead standstill you may not even you laid to rest all of your happiness i'm being told the separation between you and your twin put a straight end to your happiness now you're living in grief with major regrets because you weren't patient you weren't patient you wanted to just have your cake and eat it too and it wasn't going to happen that way with the divine beings blessed by the holy spirit you had to go through the challenges that you went through to grow to learn how to ex to be patient to not just fall into bed with anybody just because you were lonely you needed snoo snoo you needed to learn some discipline get your health right get away from codependencies you needed to surrender worry and learn how to persevere. Okay? This can go for whoever. Maybe you needed to build up your self-esteem. Maybe you needed to figure out, you know, where your creative mind was going, coming from. Where your cre what Wait a minute. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of your mind. Maybe you needed to, thank you, spirit. Thank you so much. Maybe you needed to lose your uh, your creativity. Maybe you needed to lose your muse and the connection between your muse to be able to realize that um, you were making really bad decisions. Maybe your, you know, your creative mind is what makes you your money, makes you that wealthy man, okay? You needed to lose that because you were too, uh, you had too big of an ego. 37, 37, I saw on the timer when I said that. Spirit needed you to surrender that ego, surrender your worry, and he needed you to persevere, accept the challenges that he was laying out in front of you, and grow, learn how to be disciplined, learn how to be healthy, learn how to be, you know, express love and show love and, and recognize love for what it was, unconditional love, not just shallow love. Anything else from here, Spirit? It was all a learning experience. These are life lessons that needed to be learned. Spirit doesn't want you to live with regret. He wants you to learn from these things so you can have a better life. Anything else? Last shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. He doesn't want you to live in guilt. He wants you to go and live out that divine purpose and be successful. And he wants you to get out of denial and being envious. He wants to have you see the light, lighter side of life and be open and honest so you can be abundant with the person that loves you and is grateful for you, that accepts you for who you are. You are you have a divine purpose to be in uh, service of others. And he doesn't want you to just think, oh, I'm lonely. Let me go be with somebody else because you're afraid of being lonely. The thing is now is you need to be seeking for, for uh, forgiveness for your indecision because you couldn't make up your mind and what did you want? You wanted true love or you wanted convenience. You you had to set yourself free from that. You have to. It's now time for you to tap into your empath abilities and see both sides of the situation instead of doubting that the person actually loved you. Be courageous to stand up and say, hey, look, you balanced me out. My pride and ego have caused me to have serious problems and it caused trust issues between the two of us and now I miss the peace of, of having you in my life, being my best friend, and I'm blaming myself because I didn't want to change. Because I was judging the situation between us because I didn't want people to see who, you know, our relationship for what it was. Maybe you guys are extraordinarily different and they didn't want to be judged because of it and now they feel like a failure because they got caught up with the wrong damn one. 
So the thing is, is Spirit had to put him through and you through, both of you. You both are going through things to learn how to be the best versions of yourself. And sometimes it really takes towers falling, brown boots to go up people's asses. And serious, like, it, it feels like almost like a severe disciplinary action that's coming from the Most High to teach somebody, the you know, right and wrong. Because maybe they weren't taught in life how to handle things the right way. They were so used to living in the 3D instead of realizing that there's so much more to life than money and clout. Okay? So, whatever the case may be for you. But is there anything else, Spirit? What else do you want me to do? Is there any more cards? No? What You want my rose quartz? Okay, bear with me just a second, folks. I just want to make sure that these are all right. Thank you, Spirit. Time will tell the truth of the situation. This spirit, do you want these two together? Very much so. Be patient, be understanding, pay attention to your dreams, make sure you're meditating and being grateful and counting your blessings. Taking time to be still and know God. Letting things happen and unfold naturally and in, in divine timing. Be patient. Be patient. <sighs> Anything else, spirit? No. Patience is key here, folks. Time has to do, time is on your side. The divine is on your side, collective. It's going to work out. People just have to go through what they have to go through, okay? Anything else, spirit? Nope, that's it. All right, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides for helping me through this reading. I love and appreciate you all. I close this reading. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're still here, please like the video. And until next time, light, love, and blessings. Bye for now.